हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिवाइस क्वेरी वन ऑफ द लेटेस्ट एडिशन टू द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इनट्यून सूट्स डिवाइस क्वेरी इज अ हैंडी टूल दैट प्रोवाइड्स इंस्टेंट इनसाइट इनटू द स्टेटस ऑफ योर डिवाइस सो व्हेन यू रन अ क्वेरी ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डिवाइस डिवाइस क्वेरी क्विकली फैचेस real time data about it the device query can help you deal with your security issues troubleshoot problems and make smart business decision device query is currently supporting device running only on windows 10 and later and to run a query we have to use kusto query language query before we dive into the device query there are few prerequisite which we need First of all, we all need a license that includes Microsoft Intune Advanced Analytics. This feature comes with the Intune Advanced Analytics add-on or as part of Microsoft Intune Suits. Also, your device must be enrolled in Endpoint Analytics for device query to work its magic. To use device query, you need the Manage Device Query permission and it only works on device managed by Intune and owned by your organization. So now let's talk about what device query can actually fetch for you. It supports a great range of entities like BIOS information, certificate, CPU, disk drive, encryptable volumes, file information, local groups, local user account, logical drives, memory information, OS version, process, system enclosure, system info, TPM, Windows app crash events, Windows driver, Windows event, Windows QFE, Windows registry and Windows services. Before we begin, if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe for more. Now let's see how we can run a device query. So to do this, we have to go to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center portal and then we have to click on devices and within devices, we have to go to the Windows by platform and then we have to select the device on which we want to run a device query. So let me select the device and under the monitor, if we go down, we can see the device query and we can see all the properties against which we can find the information by running the device query. And if you are not able to see the device query option, then make sure that the you have all the prerequisite. Importantly, we have to ensure that under the tenant administration, if you go to the Intune add-ons, under the capabilities, we have to ensure that the advanced endpoint analytics must be showing as active and if we go to the reports and within reports if we go to the endpoint analytics and within overview if we click on the device score we have to ensure that the device is showing under this device score or any other reports to ensure that the device is properly sending their inventory to the microsoft intune now let's see how we can find the real time information from the device using device query so to do this, we have to type the KQL query under the query editor. Here we have to type the query. For now, I am just going to show you a very simple query. So if you want to find the BIOS information, you just need to type BIOS information and click on run. And if your device is online and active, it will show the result. Like we can see that the manufacturer information date release time, serial number and the SMS BIOS version. If I want to filter it with specific attributes, we can type the attributes and then we can click on run. We can see that it is populating the information. Same way if we want to find out any other information from the device, like if you are doing a feature update, you can use OS version query to see whether the device is updated with the latest version or not. So let me quickly run a query called OS version and then click on run and we can find the OS name, OS version, major version, minor version, 
what is the patch level and what is the build version what is the architecture of the device and the install date and time so this way we can run a device query to find the real time information let me show you one more example let me show you windows services by running a command windows service where status is equal to running and i want to filter it out with service name display name start mode status and windows user account let me click on run and now it's giving the information where status is showing as running with the service name display name start mode status and windows so this way we can use the device query to find the real time data i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video